welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday. It's time for another free balloon animal tutorial just for you guys. Today we are doing a Dora the Explorer themed design that's really fast and easy. <laughs> George, the Twister sister, a coach and mentor to new balloon artists, helping you learn the art and craft of balloon twisting so you can potentially get paid to party. <laughs> if this is your first time here, consider subscribing because I put out a new video tutorial every week and we'll take you through everything you need to know about making balloon animals and maybe even starting your own balloon twisting business. I've also got a lot of free resources that I've made available to help you guys in that process if this is something that you're really interested in learning. Links to my free resources for balloon artists are down in the description below. Make sure to check them out. So Dora, if you have been paying attention over the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years has slowly been like growing up and now she's going to high school as a live action character. So we are going to do boots. Whenever people would ask me for Dora the Explorer at events, I would say, how about boots? Cause I can do monkeys and Dora takes a little bit longer. So I've got a new boots design that I want to show you guys for today. However, I am really disappointed the new movie does not have boots with any actual boots on. At least from the previews I've seen. Maybe there's a part in the movie where he does wear some red boots, but the previews and the trailer I've seen, no red boots. However, <laughs> I'm sticking, I'm keeping it old school. We're gonna put red boots on this monkey. Now, if I was making this for a child around the time of the movie coming out, I would of course ask them, do you want him to have his red boots on or not? And that way, if they say no, you can just do, you know, purple legs like the rest of his body. I'm gonna show them to you guys today with his red boots. So we're gonna start with the face. I'm gonna do my simple monkey face, which is just gonna be, uh, we're gonna start off with a small loop. Just pull your nozzle through that loop to lock this in place so it doesn't come undone. And then we're gonna do a nice round bubble and we're gonna turn that bubble into a pinch twist. And then same thing, we're gonna do another loop about the same size as the first one, like that. Doesn't look like a monkey yet. <laughs> we're gonna come down just for a little bu spacer bubble for the neck. And then we're gonna do another round bubble and the second bubble is going to become a pinch twist. There we go. All right, now we're gonna come down for his little belly. So we're just going to do a loop. It's a little bit bigger than my hand. And that's gonna be his tummy. All right, I know this is looking weird and crazy. <laughs> just stick with me. Okay, we're gonna do his arms next, which are gonna be together and sort of in front of his belly like that. You could do his arms, you could separate them, have them sticking out on either side of his body, but it takes longer. So I'm trying to show you a fast version here. And so I'm just gonna fold this, give it a little bit of shape. It's gonna come across in front of his belly. We're gonna give it a twist. And then same thing, give it a little fold, a little shape. We're gonna go back up the other side and meet it up into that pinch twist in the back of his neck. Okay, so we got something like this. I know it still doesn't look like a monkey. <laughs> this is one of those designs that I love because it just looks like a blob until you're done at the very last minute. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of the rest of this. You can cut it off, put a little hole in it, deflate it, and just wrap it around a few times so it won't come undone. All right, and then his tummy's gonna stick up through his arms like that, okay? <laughs> I know, it doesn't look right, but just hang on. All right, we're gonna take red now for our boots, and I'm gonna do just a small round bubble, and then two little loops, one and two, just like that, okay? That's what we've got. And then we're gonna feed this through that loop for, that we made for his belly. So we've got his belly right here. This is gonna go through it. Just pull it out. All right, and then 
then we're going to meet our balloons down here. Bring the reds together around the belly and just twist the rest of that red down into the feet. All right, now we're going to need to straighten everything out. Feet on backwards. There we go. So straighten everything out, line it up. You should have your little boots monkey like this, so he's standing upright. Now he's ready for us to finish his face and actually make this look like a monkey. So I've taken a peach blush, five inch round. I think light pink would also be good if you're trying to get more of that old school boots look, maybe. Um, but I'm, I'm using peach blush for this, and we're just, I've inflated it about the size of like a softball, maybe baseball, okay? We're gonna squeeze it and pinch off a nice sized round bubble here at the front of it. We're gonna take the nozzle of that and try to get the knot if you can and bring the knot down around that twist we just made and hold on to that tail. So this is gonna be the face of the monkey. Now we're gonna take our monkey, make sure his ears are lined up in the front and the pinch twist is in the back. We're gonna take the nozzle that we're holding onto from the face, okay, attach, put the face in front of his ears, bring that nozzle back, it's gonna go behind that pinch twist, back to the front and around the face one more time to lock that in place. Face forward. Do you guys see it now? <laughs> Isn't he so cute? All right, now, of course, monkeys have tails, so I'd like to add a tail to this. Now, if you want to leave him like this, kind of cut off the red excess here, and then you could potentially be done if your little customer doesn't notice that he doesn't have a tail. So that would be like a line work, a three balloon animal. Um, if you do really want to give him a tail though, I would just go ahead and turn this little uh, red bubble that we have here in the back with the nozzle into a pinch twist. I'm taking that nozzle and just wrapping it around. Okay, so it's gonna be a little pinch twist now. And then I've inflated a, another purple balloon, just made it a nice curly Q long tail. And we're just going to wrap that into that pinch twist that's actually on his boots. And I know that his tail is coming out of the back of his boots, but if you don't make his legs too long, if you get the proportions and everything kind of right, then the tail doesn't really look like it's coming out of his feet. It looks like it's just, you know, especially if you look at it from the front, just looks like he has a really long curly tail, which is really cute. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna draw some eyes on this cute little guy, and I love this design. The Boots Monkey design that I used to do took way longer than this, so I hope you guys really like this one. So I'm just gonna keep the artwork kind of simple because this is meant to be a quick design. So I'm doing two ovals on the top part of his face. And of course some little eyebrows above those. And then on the larger part of the peach blessed balloon, we're gonna do two little lines for his monkey nose. I guess you could do like little half circles too maybe, that would be cute. And then we'll just do a little cute half smile. Isn't that so cute? Okay, now finishing touches, we're gonna add some little white marker uh, dots on his eyes. All right, so we've added our little whites on his eyes and that just totally finishes this design off and makes him so adorable. I think any Dora the Explorer fan would be really happy to get this little guy. So. That's it for this week's tutorial. If you liked it, give me a like down below. And if you wanna see more balloon animal tutorials and balloon related videos, make sure that you pop that subscribe button so you get notified every time we put out a new video, which is every Tuesday. Now, if you do attempt to make this, I wanna see your pictures. I've got a free Facebook group where we all share photos of our work from each week's tutorial Tuesday. So click that link down below to get taken to our group and join. And we wanna see pictures of your boots this week. <laughs> It'd be funny if somebody actually posted pictures of like their cowboy boots or something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, can you tell I'm used to working with clowns? <laughs> okay, so thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me on your Tuesday. I'll be back again, same time, same place, next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. I'll see you then. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.